Hello friends, welcome to Karma Tech and in today's video, we are going to see how can we connect external monitor to our Mac. Now, let's get started with the video without wasting any time. First, you need few accessories in order to connect monitor with your Mac. First is you need HDMI to HDMI cable and after that you need a Type-C to HDMI adapter which we can use to connect the adapter to Mac and the HDMI cable which is coming from monitor, we can connect that HDMI cable to adapter. So you need these two uh, accessories at the start. So make sure you have one. Now, once you get the accessories, after that, make sure to uh, you know connect the power source to your monitor and connect the HDMI cable to your monitor. So we'll do that very quickly. So this is the power cable which I have and I'm going to connect it to the monitor right now. Now I have connected the power source to the monitor. Now let's connect HDMI cable to the monitor. Now I have connected HDMI cable to monitor. Now let's connect the other end to the adapter which I told you, you need to get that. So let's connect it. Now once you connect HDMI cable to adapter, the type C end you need to connect it to your Mac. So I have turned on the monitor. Now let's connect the adapter to our Mac. And as soon as we connect the HDMI cable from adapter uh, to our Mac, within few minutes uh, or a few seconds, the same display will appear on the monitor. Now, even after connecting the HDMI cable from your monitor to your Mac, if the Mac display is not showed on the monitor in that situation, what to do? All you need to do is you just need to uh, go in settings option. You can go in system settings in your Mac and then go down and select display option. Now, once you select display, the external monitor will be visible over there. So you can just simply tap on that and the Mac display should appear over there. Even if it is not appearing, you can select this use as uh, drop down. And in that you can select either main display or extended display or else you can, uh, you know, try uh, connecting the HDMI cable to your Mac once again. So you can remove the HDMI cable from your Mac and then you can try to connect it once again. And after that, after doing all these things, the Mac display should appear on the monitor. Now there are a few uh, settings you can do. Uh, one is you can either use the external monitor as your extended display. Now what is extended display means? Now you can see uh, the system settings uh, window page is over here. I can move this window from my Mac to this external display over here. So I can, you know, keep some of the windows over there and some of the windows I can keep it on my Mac. One more thing. If you want to bring back uh, that window to your Mac, you can just simply tap and hold uh, or click and hold that window and you can, you know, bring that window back to your Mac. So either you can use it as an extended display or if you want to use the monitor as main display, select this drop down and select main display. Now, all the things which were on the Mac is now appearing on the monitor. So all the settings are there. I can use applications. I can do whatever work I want. And if I want to use keyboard, either I can use the external keyboard uh, for that. Again, there is one more thing. You need type C to type A adapter, which you can connect to your external, uh, you know, USB type C hub. And you can use the Bluetooth mouse and keyboard in order to use uh, that monitor as a separate computer. If you don't want to use keyboard of your Mac, you can use external keyboard and mouse. Now, again, one more thing. If you want to mirror your MacBook display to the monitor, you can select this drop down over here and select mirror for built in display. So if I select this particular option, the same window will appear on the monitor. But now you can see there is black bar on both the side, which doesn't make it look good. In that case, you can select the optimize for option. You can select this drop down and you can select the monitor model name over here and the window will be optimized or the display will be optimized as per the monitor resolution. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video guys. This is how simple it is to connect monitor with your Mac. If you find this video informative, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.